Transcript for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. The, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level of, uh, of uh, risk is. Uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved if, uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility. The uh, biggest one being that the uh, risk of bankruptcy is, uh, is uh, reduced, which, uh, which not only reduces the cost of borrowing, but to also makes lenders more willing to lend you any money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecasting is, uh, is possible when hedging. A, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings will in general be more or valued by investors. If your uh, company uses uh, hedging to uh, withstand short-term price movements, its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more fully on the uh, company's uh, core competencies, doing what they are uh, best at. Uh, some people don't like the idea of hedging against price fluctuations because they feel that uh, in some way... This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. Transcript. Hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level of, uh, of uh, risk is. Uh, lots of big chunk, chunks of uh, benefits are benefits are achieved. If, uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility, the uh, biggest one being that the uh, risk of bankruptcy is, uh, is uh, reduced, which, uh, which not only reduces the cost of borrowing, but to also makes lenders more willing to lend you any money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecasting is, uh, is possible when hedging. A, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings will in general be more or valued by investors. If your uh, company uses uh, hedging to... Uh this audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. The, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. The, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, maximize. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. The, uh, 
there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary transcript. The, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your. The, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level of uh, the, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level of, uh, of uh, risk is. Uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved if, uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility. The uh, biggest one being that the uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is volatility. Uh, another is volatility. Uh, another is to uh, another is to another is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level, whatever the investor's uh, target level of, uh, of uh, risk is. A uh, lots of big chunks, whatever the investor's uh, target level of, uh, of uh, risk is. A uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved. If, uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility, whatever the investor's uh, target target level of, uh, of uh, risk is, uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are investor's uh, target level of, uh, of uh, risk is. Uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved. If uh, it is, a uh, lots of big chunks of uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved. If uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow, for big chunks, lots of big chunks, lots of big chunks, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved. If uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility, of uh, benefits are achieved. If uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility. The uh, biggest one. If uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility, the uh, biggest one being that the uh, risk of bankruptcy is uh, is uh, reduced, which uh, which not only reduces the cost of borrowing, but to also makes lenders more willing to lend you any money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings uh, also makes lenders more willing to lend you any money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and willing to lend you any money uh, uh, to begin with. Money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecasting is money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, furthermore, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecasting is uh, is possible when hedging. A uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecast in earnings and uh, forecasting is uh, is forecasting is uh, is possible when hedging. In earnings and uh, forecasting is uh, is possible when hedging. A, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earning money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecasting. Uh, forecasting is uh, is possible when hedging. A, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings will, in general, be more or about in earnings. Uh, forecasting is uh, is possible when hedging. 
a, uh, a company with a uh, more predictable pitch and a, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings will in general be more or valued by investors. A company with a uh, company with uh, more predictable earnings will in general be more hedging. A, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings hedging. A, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings will in general be more or valued by investors. If you're uh, be more or valued by investors, if your more predictable earnings will in general be more or valued by investors, if your uh, company uses a uh, hedge and you will in general be more or valued by investors, if your uh, company you be more or valued by investors, valued by investors, if your uh, company uses a uh, hedge and you uh, withstand you uh, withstand short-term price movements. Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more uh, fully on the uh, company's uh, core. Focus their energy more uh, fully on the uh, company's uh, core competencies, doing what they are uh, better movements. Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more uh, fully. Its uh, man movements. Its uh, management can then uh, focus that. Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more uh, fully on the uh, company's uh, core competencies. Doing what? Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy. Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more uh, fully on the uh, company's uh, core competencies. Doing what they are uh, best at. Competencies. Doing what they are uh, best at. Uh, some people don't like the idea of hedging against price fluctuations because they feel doing what they competency doing what they are uh, best at. Uh, some people don't like the idea of hedging against price fluctuation they are uh, best at. Uh, some people don't like the idea of hedging against price. Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more uh, fully on the uh, company's uh, core competencies. Doing what they are uh, best at. Uh, some people don't like the idea of hedging against price fluctuations because they feel that uh, in some ways it's uh, it's a lot like uh, gambling. It's, uh, it's a lot like uh, gambling. Well, those people are what we in the financial advisor trade call uh, dim bulbs, and it's not true at all. And it's not true at all. Sure, gambling uh, increases your risk profile by making a bet on price movements, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. Hall, uh, dim bulbs, and it's not true at all. Sure, gambling uh, increases your risk profile by making a bet on price and tone. Sure, gambling uh, increases your risk profile by making a bet on price movements, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. Your effort in gambling uh, increases your risk profile by making a bet on price profile by making a bet on price movements by making a bet on price movements. But uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. Your effort in to reduce the risk profile of your organization and don't bet on price movements. But Cross price movements, but uh, cross on cross price movements, cross price movements, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing on cross price movements, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. Your effort in to reduce the risk profile of your organization. Don't, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. Smarty Q Pants, Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. Your effort in, or Ms. Smarty, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. Your effort in to reduce the risk profile of your organization. And don't have some uh, preconceived notion that the, uh, the uh, odds are uh, 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 somehow in your favor. By the way, Ms. Smarty Q Pants are doing the exact opposite. Pants are doing Smarty Q Pants are doing the exact opposite. Your effort in to reduce the risk profile of your organization and don't have some uh, preconceived notion 
that the uh, Smarty Q pants are doing the exact opposite. Your effort to reduce the risk profile of your organization pants are doing the exact opposite. Your effort to reduce the risk profile of your organization and don't have some uh, preconceived notion that the uh, the uh, odds are uh, 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 somehow in your favor. But your effort to reduce the risk pro effort to effort to reduce the risk effort to reduce effort to reduce the risk profile effort to reduce the risk profile of your organization. Your effort to reduce your effort to reduce the your effort to reduce the risk effort to reduce the risk profile of your organization. And don't have some uh, to reduce the risk profile of your organization. And don't have some uh, of your organization don't have some uh, preconceived notion that the uh, the uh, organization and don't have some uh, preconceived notion that the uh, the uh, odds are uh, 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 somehow in your favor by the way the uh, the uh, odds are uh, 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 somehow in your favor by the way how do you like my use of that word effort in, in the previous paragraph somehow in your favor by the way how do you like my use of that word, Efferton, in the previous paragraph? Your spell checker might be telling you it's on price movements, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Cube, are uh, 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 somehow in your favor. By the way, how do you favor? By the way, how do you like my use of that word, Efferton, in the previous paragraph? Word, Efferton, in the previous paragraph. Efferton in the previous paragraph. Your spell checker might be telling you it's not a real word. And uh, b- paragraph. Your spell checker might be telling you it's not a real word. And uh, before today, I would have agreed with that spell. And uh, b- and uh, before today, I would have agreed with that spell checker. However, on uh, on my way home from my gym, fitness from my gym, fitness night from my gym, fitness 19. I, I, I heard a newscaster using it in a story. Fitness 19. I, I, I heard a news. My gym. Fitness 19. Fitness 19. I, I, I heard a newscaster using it in a story about uh, 9/11. Now uh, we're coming up on the 29/11. Now uh, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of that sad day. 9/11. Now uh, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of that sad day. So uh, I really appreciated that reporter using a bogus word, reporter using a bogus word to uh, to uh, distract me from the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Anyway, when the uh, strike price of an option is uh, equal to the current market, the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. From the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. From the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. From the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Anyway, distract me from the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Distract me from the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Distract me from the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Distract me from the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Anyway, when I was uh, feeling the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Anyway, when the uh, strike price of an option is uh, equal to the current market price of a share feeling. Anyway. When the uh, strike price of an op- when the uh, strike price of an option is uh, equal to the current market price of a share, that op- option is uh, equal to the current mar- current market price of a share. That option is referred to as an at the money option. For example, when PayPal share price is fifteen hundred bucks and the call or option is uh, equal to the current market price of a share. That option is referred to as an at the money option. The money option. For example, when PayPal share price is fifteen hundred bucks and the call or put option when PayPal share price is fifteen hundred bucks and the call or put option is also fifteen hundred dollars. It's and the call or put option is also fifteen hundred dollars. It's called an at-the-money option. As you probably know, all else being equal, the further the option is in the money, the more profitable that option will get. This audio is used... It's 1500 bucks, and the call or put option is 1500 bucks, 
and the call or put option is also $1,500. It's called an at-the-money option. As you probably know, all else being equal, the further the option is in the money, the more profitable that option will get. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. $1,500. It's called an at-the-money option. As you probably know, called an at-the-money option. As you pro the money option. As you probably know, all else being equal, the further the option is in the money, the more profit. As you probably know, all else being equal, the further the option is in the money, the option is in the money, the more profitable that option will get. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. In the money, the further the option is in the money, the more profitable that option will get money. The more profitable that op money, the more profitable, the more pro more profitable that more profitable that option will get. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. profitable that option will get will get this audio is used for the transcriber test at go transcript Go Transcript. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. There are nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short term cash flow volatility, uh, another is to uh, maximize return on capital. For, uh, what this audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. The, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to the, uh, There are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to, uh, the, uh, there are, uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to, uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to, uh, reduce your, uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to, uh, maximize return on cap, return on capital for, uh, whatever the investor's, uh, target level of, uh, of, uh, risk is. Uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved if uh, if a uh, use return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level of uh, of uh, risk is. A uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved if uh, if a uh, use the investor's uh, target level of uh, of uh, risk is. A uh, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved. Lots of big chunks. Lots of big ch big chunks of lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved. Is a uh, lots of big chunks of uh, ben big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved if uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility. The uh, biggest one being that the uh, risk of bankruptcy is uh, is uh, reduced. 
which, uh, which not only reduces the cost of borrowing, but to also makes lenders more willing to lend you any money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecasting is, uh, is possible when hedging. A, uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings will in general be more or valued by investors. If your uh, company uses uh, hedging to uh, withstand, if your uh, company uses uh, hedging to uh, withstand short-term price and movements, investors. If your uh, company uses uh, hedging, to, if your uh, company uses uh, hedging to uh, withstand invest investors. If your uh, company, your uh, company uses your uh, company investors. If your uh, company uses uh, your uh, company. You Company uses uh, hedging to uh, withstand short-term price movements. Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more fully on the uh, company's uh, core competencies, doing what they are uh, best at. Uh, some people don't like the idea of hedging against price fluctuations because they feel that uh, in some ways it's uh, it's a lot like uh, gambling. Well, those people are what we in the financial advisor trade call uh, dim bulbs, and it's not true at all. Sure, gambling uh, increases your risk. Sure, gambling uh, increases your risk profile by making a bet on price movements, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. Pants are doing the exact opposite. Your effort to reduce the risk profile of your organization. And don't your effort to reduce the risk profile of your organization. And don't have some uh, preconceived notion that the, uh, the uh, odds are uh, 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 somehow in your favor. By the way, how do you like my use of that word, efforting, in the previous paragraph? Your spell checker might be telling you it's not a real word. And uh, before today, I would have agreed with that spell checker. However, on, uh, on my way home from my gym, Fitness 19, I, I, I heard a newscaster, Fitness 19, I, I, I heard a newscaster using it in a story about 9-11. Uh, now, uh, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of that sad day. So uh, I really appreciated that reporter using a bogus word to, uh, to uh, distract me from the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Anyway, when the uh, strike price of an option is uh, equal to the current market price of a share, that option is referred to as an at-the-money option. For example, when PayPal share price is 1500 bucks and the call or put option is also $1,500, it's called an at-the-money option. As you probably know, all else being equal, the further the option is in the money, the more profitable that option will get. This audio is used for the transcriber test at GoTranscript. used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. Uh, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. 
Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, is to uh, to, uh, is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investors uh, target. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. The, uh, there are uh, uh, nine or, or ten primary reasons you might want to uh, consider hedging. Uh, uh, one is to uh, reduce your uh, short-term cash flow volatility. Uh, another is to uh, maximize return on capital for uh, whatever the investor's uh, target level of, uh, of uh, risk is. Risk is a uh, lots of big, lots of big chunks of uh, benefits are achieved if uh, if uh, you successfully reduce cash flow volatility. The uh, the uh, biggest one being one being that the uh, risk of bankruptcy is uh, is uh, reduced, which uh, which not only reduces the cost of borrowing. But to also makes lenders more willing to lend you any money uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, uh, furthermore, uh, more accurate uh, in earnings and uh, forecasting is uh, is possible when hedging. A uh, a company with uh, more predictable earnings will, in general, be more or valued by investors. If your uh, company uses uh, hedging to uh, withstand short-term price moves. Its uh, management can then uh, focus their energy more uh, fully on the uh, company's uh, core competencies, doing what they are uh, best at. Uh, some people don't like the idea of hedging against price fluctuations because they feel that uh, in some ways it's, uh, it's a lot like uh, gambling. Well, those people are what we in the financial advisor trade call uh, dim bulbs, and it's not true at all. Sure, gambling uh, increases your risk profile by making a bet on price movements, but uh, by hedging, you, Mr. or Ms. Smarty Q Pants, are doing the exact opposite. You're efforting to reduce the risk profile of your organization and don't have some uh, preconceived notion that the, uh, the uh, odds are uh, 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 somehow in your favor. By the way, how do you like my use of that word? that word, Efferton, in the previous paragraph. Your spell checker might be telling you it's not a real word. And uh, before today, I would have agreed with that spell checker. However, on, uh, on my way home from my gym, Fitness 19, I, I, I heard a newscaster using it in a story about 9-11. Uh, now, uh, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of that sad day. So uh, I really appreciated that reporter using a bogus word to, uh, to uh, distract me from the uh, feels I was uh, feeling. Anyway, when the uh, strike price of an option is uh, equal to the current market price of a share, that option is referred to as an at-the-money option. For example, when PayPal share price is 1500 bucks and the call or put option is also $1,500. It's called an at-the-money option. As you probably know, all else being equal, the further the option is in the money, the more profitable that option will get. This audio is used for the transcriber test at GoTranscript.